Okay, this is a uh, 1994 Chevy Silverado. It's a four-wheel drive, uh, extra cab. Anyway, so I needed to put new uh, door lock cylinders in there, and uh, so I'm gonna just give you a quick rundown on what you'll need and how to do it. Uh, first things first, you'll wanna pull off this piece here. It's just got some uh, clips, be gentle, but you can pull it at least off about like a you know an inch or so it just makes everything a lot simpler so you're gonna want to do that first then pull off this guy right here just a little uh, plastic piece and then carefully pull back all your uh, body molding here your door there's just a little Phillips here and uh, then pull it off there's gonna be two clips up here like one here one here where you just pull up pop it off and uh, this will stay here but you'll be able to pull this back you know take that off and once you get that off you've got 10 millimeter right here and then there's another one on the other side then you've got these three torques uh, it's a T30 and you're going to want to take these off. This piece isn't going to go anywhere. It'll just drop down slightly. You don't have to take off the vent. And I'm going to go to the other side. I've already finished this side and put a new lock on it. So I'm going to go to the other side. It's already taken apart. and show you. All right, so you can see this piece with the T30s has been pulled off. It doesn't go anywhere. It just drops down and uh, you need it to drop down to do this um, so you pull this back just a little bit you don't have to take this off I took it off for a different reason but you can push your uh, 10 millimeter extension through here you can even see it you go back through the other side and then that's going to take off that one right there so you got that guy out that actually okay so this piece here you can see it doesn't clip anything it just sets down that little rod and uh, that's important that'll get it out far enough so that you can actually manipulate the lock cylinder to get the little uh, metal keeper off the back and uh, you look down in there you're probably gonna see on the video but there's a little hole there's only one hole it's pretty obvious where this little rod goes so when you put it all back together just make sure the rod goes back in the hole as you're setting it back in there okay let's see we'll grab the old one here okay so this is what find a shady spot if you can see this okay there she is okay so this is the back of your lock cylinder it's got a little funny little shape to it that the clip will fit on and then okay so this is the top of it here you can see right here there's a little spring loaded deal that's going to lock it in there so the old one to get it off you know you'll want to push something on top of this and then push and you'll get it out of the door handle and you can see it really can only fit in there one way they're both shape the same way so when you get your new one well of course I got it on backwards you get your new one you push it in through there and uh, it'll lock my old one here the reason why I had to replace this is the cylinder fell through because this uh, metal piece broke so the cylinder went through obviously it ain't gonna work anymore um, besides that it's pretty it's pretty simple um let's see if i can show you this so this is the new one i already put it on but like i said once you get that bottom piece and uh, the door handle out you got a lot more room this clip here it's got like a little a little finger in it there so you just pop the finger up and slide it back and uh, there's going to be the exact same silhouette of the end piece in there 
and uh, you'll pull it off. Just put your new one on now. Since I got this all apart, this guy's on. I'll uh, put the door handle back in there. Slide the cylinder in first, make sure it clicks. And then make sure that little rod goes into the bottom. And then basically just reverse the assembly. But like I said, see now you can see here. See these guys are just clipped in here. And you'll want to pull this piece back. And uh, that's uh, pretty important because once you pull this back, you can take this last screw off for the door handle. If you don't, and you still pull the door handle, you can see the last guy that did this snapped it. So then your door skin or whatever you want to call it doesn't really fit on very good. It's going to flap around. So that is pretty much it. I'm sure this covers a few years. And uh, really once I figured out that you had to drop this lower piece, to pull the whole handle out that just made things so much easier i was trying to do it with the handle like half popped off and uh it wasn't going well so anyways hopefully this is uh helpful all right